Hiya, this is the first lesson for the uh, A2 Maths series pack. Right, let's have a look then. So we're looking at APs. So APs are arithmetic progressions, which is just there, AP. There. So a sequence is just a list of numbers. Uh, an arithmetic sequence is a list of numbers, but if you spot... They either go up or go down by the same amount. So you're adding or subtracting. So that makes it arithmetic. There. The number, the difference here, the number that it jumps up by or the number it jumps down by, is called the common difference. And it's D. So that's cool. Right, let's have a look then. So your first term you call A. Because that says there, your first term. So your next term, if I add on a common difference, is A plus D. If I add it on again, it's A plus 2D. If I add it on again, it's A plus 3D. Oops, I did put a B then. If you notice... That could be a, a plus no lots of D. The 1 there and the 0 there, the 2 there and the 1 lot of D there are linked. It's 1 less. So that's a 3, that's a 2. If it was U10, it'd be A plus 9D. So in general, if it's 1 less, it's that. This number here just tells you its position in the list. The 1, the 2, the 3, the 4. Right, let's have a look then. So it says find the 47th term and the nth term in this sequence. Right, so that's have a look there. So A is 3. They're going up by 4 every time. So D is 4. For part A, N is 47. So the 47th term will be U47 is A, which is 3, plus 47 minus 1, lots of 4. So U47, according to the completed pack, is 187. There. Right. The nth term now, so same idea, A is 3. D is 4, N is N. So UN is A, which is 3, whoops, 3 plus N minus 1, lots of 4. If I expand the brackets, UN is 3 plus 4N minus 4. So UN is 4N minus 1. There you go, I've got like just a, an equation that works it out in a different way. There. Right. Finding the sum. So if it's a series, it means we're adding them up as we go along. So we've got up here, we add sequence, just a list. Series is the list added up as you go along. There are two equations for it. There's n over 2. 2a plus n minus 1d there so that's if I've got an a or an n and a d now there's another one if you know the last term but you also need to know its position need n so you also need to know which number it is if it's the tenth term your last one or not there is another formula which is n over 2, and it's a plus l, there, first plus last, mm -hmm. times by n. Right, let's have a look. So this example, there, so find the sum of, so find the sum of the first 250 terms, so n is 250. When I've been marking exam papers, which have had sequences and series in. It's very easy to get confused with whether you're looking at 
a sum or a term. So things like find the sum, it's well worthwhile just underlining that word just so it reminds you or else you probably find the 250th term. Right, so these are going up by 6, aren't they? So A is 4 and D is 6. I've got no idea what the 250th term is down here. No idea what it is, so I can't use the first and the last equation. Right. So if you use the sum of the 250th terms, is 250 over 2, 2 lots of 4, plus 250 minus 1, lots of 6. If you put that into your calculator and work it out, it gives you 187750. There you go, 187,750. There. So that's the first example. Right, let's have a look on the next page of your book. So page three, there's another example there. Um, let's have a go. So it wants the sum. So this one, you know your L, that's good. You know your A, that's good. You know your D, that's good. So I've got A is 10, D is 5, L is 500 but what I need is the end number that goes with the 500 so if I use the term un is a plus n minus 1 d I can work out what the n is so I've got 500 is 10 plus n minus 1 lots of 5 so 500 is 10 plus 5 n minus 5 so 495 is 5n, uh, what's that going to be, 99 is n, there. So that tells me that this is the 99th term. And because I've got the last one, I can use n over 2 first plus last. So the sum of the first 99 terms is 99 over 2, 10 plus 500, which gives us 25245. There you go. Alright. See if we can get through these next two before we run out of time. Um, okay. So it tells me that the fifth term, so n is 5, u5 is 2, and the 11th term. So for n is 11, u11, u11 is minus 13. u11 is minus 13. Alright, so I can set up two equations. Both of these are with terms. So both of these are using this formula. Uh, so 2 is a plus 5 minus 1 d so 2 is a plus 4 d so that's one equation you can use then I've got minus 13 is a plus 11 minus 1 d so minus 13 is a plus 10 d remember you want it x is y is equals numbers so a plus 4 d is 2 a plus 10, oops, 10d is minus 13. So if you put that into simultaneous, it should give you A is 12 and D is minus 2.5, which you'd expect if the 11th term is negative, you'd expect D to be minus. So that's quite cool, that. Right. I haven't got time to do this last one because I've run out of time. Um, I wonder if I can quickly do it. I'll have to do it as a separate one, won't I? 